Chapter 575, Ancestral City Lord. The master's tone was aggressive and threatening, causing the silent spectators nearby to shiver. The Yin Yang Gate was not necessarily stronger than the Titanic Crescent Sacred Ground and was definitely incomparable to the All Ears Ancient Kingdom or the Simple Mountain Immortal Kingdom, let alone a lineage like the Myriad Bones Throne. However, the Yin Yang Gate of this generation was flying high and could walk proudly everywhere. The Yin Yang Master was even more unstoppable. The world listened to his command so he put no one in his eyes. Although many hated him and the other emperor's lineages didn't like him, they didn't bother with trivial quips due to his talented son. Li Kai coldly glared at the master after seeing his arrogance before revealing a smirk and said, If you or the ancestral realm kneeled down and begged me, I would have thought about giving you the key back then. But now, get the hell out of here and don't bother me. The experts from the ancestral city changed their expressions after hearing this. The master's expression sank as well. The spectating cultivators were scared out of their minds. Li Kai's attitude was simply too arrogant towards the ancestral realm. Not to mention young people in the sacred nether world. Even ancestors and legendary masters wouldn't dare to act so boisterously against the ancestral realm. Who would dare to be so smug when talking to the ancestral realm? But now, Li Kai told the group to get the hell out of here. This was being audacious beyond boundaries. Another person murmured. Fierce is indeed different. Only such a fierce person would dare to kill Dizuo. The hearts of others shrunk from fear. Li Kai's attitude showed that he was not taking the ancestral realm into consideration at all. He was even antagonistic towards them. The Yin Yang master showed a dark smile as he coldly spoke. Junior, although you are formidable with no match in the younger generation, don't forget that you are still young and the path ahead is still long. Your tiny cultivation might be unmatched among the young, but you are only an ant to the older generation and the ancestral realm. Is that so? Li Kai leisurely said, You don't need to worry about that. I don't have time to chit-chat with you, all right now? So scram. Don't block my way to the path of death or else I'll pave the way myself with your blood. Such free yet domineering words that had a murderous air caused the cultivators to look at each other. Those who dared to declare their intention of massacring the ancestral city's experts could be counted with one's hand in the sacred nether world. But Li Kai was the only one among the younger generation. They understood why Li Kai had a nickname Fierce. Only he was worthy of this title. The moment he finished speaking, the experts behind the master scowled and said, This thing doesn't know life from death. They glared with their eyes, revealing a frightening aura. At this time, back at the ancestral city's camp, a harem frang out, causing the world to shake and the celestials to lose their colors. This sound made heavenly sovereigns quiver as well. An old man shrouded with divine light could be seen standing at the camp. He had a noble aura as if he was sitting on a throne high up in the sky. Although his aura was not particularly daunting and was without a monstrous blood energy, the waves of divine lights were plenty scary enough. Each wave of light was like a spear that pierced the sky and the myriad dao. The sharpness of this light instilled a frightening chill in all. The yin yang master was secretly glad to see this old man coming out and warn Li Kei, Junior, you are too arrogant. With your words just now, even if I don't teach you a lesson, the city lord will not spare you. This was the result he wanted since he had been determined to kill Li Kai. Before this, he didn't have a big conflict with Li Kei, but it was different now, especially after Li Kai defeated Dizuo. Dizuo's defeat frightened the master. Since they were both from Emperor's lineages at the eastern nether border, the master knew Dizuo very well as well as his dominating strength. However, someone as unparalleled as Dizuo had actually lost to Li Kei, causing the master to be worried about his own son. This worry was still there back when Dizuo was alive since he knew that his son was not much stronger than Dizuo. He didn't only hope that his son would rule the ancestral realm in the future, he hoped for him to become an immortal emperor as well. Then, the Yin Yang Gate would be a sect with two emperors, in a generation with geniuses like Dizuo and Tian Lunhuai. The master was still full of hope. Although Dizuo was indeed brilliant, his son was no worse. The ancestral realm did their best to train Chen Yang so that he definitely had a chance to become the emperor. But now, all of a sudden, some random dark horse came out and defeated Dizuo. This gave the master a lot of stress from worrying about his son. Now that Li Kai actually showed up here, it was truly a fortunate coincidence. This was what people called one choosing not to tread on a ready path to heaven and instead rather barge into the unwelcoming hell. The master was determined to kill Li Kai no matter what happened next to pave the way for his son. He wanted to use this rare chance to borrow the ancestral city to kill Li Kai before Chen Yang's wings became stronger. The ancestral city's lord. A group of cultivators startlingly exclaimed after hearing the master. Even the older generation was afraid. The lord of the ancestral city is a terrifying existence that plagued an entire generation. Legend states that he began his Tao during the same era as immortal emperor Takong. An older cultivator recalled the legend about the city lord with quivering legs. Another one was gassed and said, for the city lord, himself, to come. Something amazing is happening. However, Li Kai didn't care for this whatever city lord and nonchalantly said, That's fine. My answer is still the same. You want the key? Forget it. A good dog does not block the road. Now disappear. The more arrogant Li Kai acted. The happier the master became since he wanted nothing more than Li Kai's death. With the city lord's presence, this was a great opportunity to kill Li Kai. You are begging to die. He thought with a sneer before coldly speaking, Junior, don't be so quick to act presumptuously. The thousand car priver alone won't be able to protect you. Within the next ten days, a member of the Divine Guard will arrive. HMPH, not just the river sect, nothing in this world can save you. Hand over the key right now and kneel down to apologize to the city lord. Maybe the great city lord will be benevolent and spare you from death. What? A divine guard is about to descend? Impossible. How can gods descend to the mundane world before the opening of the portal? 
The Divine Guard consisted of deities who were responsible for protecting the ancestral realm. Existence is just like God's. There was a legend where the progenitor of the ghost race was still alive and was sleeping throughout the years inside the ancestral realm. The Divine Guard was responsible for protecting the Supreme Progenitor and was known for being unbeatable in the ancestral realm. It was not easy for someone from the Divine Guard to descend unless a huge matter was about to happen. Because of this, how could others not be aghast after hearing this news? Even a heavenly king turned pale and mumbled with shivering legs, a god descending to our world. This is a momentous event. Other cultivators were nervous and felt that this matter was very serious. They could feel a storm approaching with the descent of a god. You talk too much. Scram. Li Kai's eyes shot out a glint as his chest became bright. The hell suppressing godly physique and the soaring immortal physique exploded out at the same time. In a split second, space suddenly fluctuated as Li Kai shifted his body with a flash. The Yin Yang Master was an amazing heavenly king. He was startled and tried to activate an emperor's law, but it was too late. The soaring immortal physique was too fast. After all, it was number one in terms of speed across eternity. It was needless to say more about the hell suppressing godly physique. This was a body heavy enough to cause the heavens to collapse, heavy enough to suppress gods and devils. Boom. Crisp sounds of bones breaking appeared with the sight of blood as Li Kai slammed the master flying away. Even a heavenly king couldn't withstand this terrifying blow from two immortal physiques. Li Kai's body became the most terrifying and vicious weapon in this world. Li Kai didn't use them in the fight against Di Zuo, but now he suddenly chose to use them. The master was blown away and the sound of his bones breaking caused others to jump. Nevertheless, he was still a formidable heavenly king. As he was blown away, he activated an amazing technique. An extremely powerful weapon shot up high, aiming to kill Li Kai. However, Li Kai didn't give him a chance. Right when he slammed the master flying, his hand was also holding the Yin Yang refining immortal mirror. In just a moment, the mirror spewed out a terrorizing light that crushed the fabric of space itself. Crank crack. The Yin Yang master's treasure was shattered as he screamed. Ah. He was pierced through the chest by this terrifying light, causing blood to spray everywhere. He died with his eyes still open. Never did he expect for Li Kai to be faster than him.